Okay, one, two, three. Action. Okay, what is up, guys? Fahan here with Za once again, and today we have Alfie. How are you, Alfie? Fine, thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. And uh, this is Alfie's bike. Wow, uh, this is like. <laughs> legend no, no <laughs> RX King 135 oh, very legend RX King lah oh RX King, 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 King lah okay during my time 16 years old you can really take bike license yeah okay so I have a classmate who actually rode this bike to school you know mm. then when we I mean, tease him about being an RX K bike right <laughs> You know, hey, this is not RX King, this is RX King. <laughs> king, no. You're <laughs> king, lah. And then, yeah, you, like you say, like, usually when RX K, uh, it's usually like Ape Ape, old, met, old uh, veteran riders. Uh, veteran riders. They say uh, old, lah, they get offended. Veteran. <laughs> <laughs> veteran riders who ride this bike, and usually it's very rusty. Uh, well uh, utilized. Well utilized. Uh, yes. Depreciate lah, uh, wear down, depreciate lah, <laughs> I say. Uh. <laughs> but this is like very mean condition, lah. Uh. Almost, almost, almost mean condition. Mean, almost almost mean. I've seen an RX K totally chrome, you know, even the engine so is chrome, chrome, you know. Yeah. Really baby, eh? <laughs> yeah, so before Alfie tells us the story about his RX K, we're gonna give a bit of background about it. The Yamaha RXK 135 is a standard class of motorcycle popular in Southeast Asia and the Indian markets. It was first released sometime in the 1980s and production stopped in 1996. The RXK is a variant of the Yamaha RX100 and the RX 135. The successor to the RXK is the Yamaha RXZ. Engine is 132cc, air cool, 2 stroke, read valve, gasoline 7 port torque induction with a 5 speed manual transmission. In Singapore, the Yamaha RXK 135 has gained a vintage status among riders, and with the state's vehicle control laws, it is starting to be a rare sight on the streets. Okay, so LC, can us get to tell us the story about your bike? Like, well, how much you bought it and uh, what made you want to get the RXK as your first bike? Uh, this is Elfie's first bike, by the way. Mm. Surprisingly. <laughs> well, I mean, I can relate to him because <laughs> my first bike was a rusty old Vespa which was handed over by <laughs> my uncle. I own it for almost like 10 years, you know, ten years, huh? since 2000. Oh. I got my license in 2005. Oh. So, for 10 years, I rode that bike. Until the akhir hayat. Uh, until, <laughs> until the end of his life. Uh. <laughs> uh. So, I can relate to him. Uh, having a, a classic bike instead of a more modern uh, sporty bike. Yeah. Mm. But that's the thing. Uh. So, how I got this bike, right? Honestly, I'm not like a, a bike enthusiast. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so I just, when I got my license, I just wanted a bike for myself. Mm. Like any bike will do. Apparently, the first bike well, I almost got was an RXZ. Mm -hmm. It was the blue cover set, I still remember. But ah. I choose to, like, you know what? There's, there's a lot of RXZs out there. Okay, then after that, it went to. A point where I keep asking my brother, hey, do you have any contact for any bike that, you know, is different from others? So apparently when he was servicing his bike somewhere, okay, then he saw this RSK, which, which is at the shop itself. Lah. So he asked the uncle, hey, is this selling off or what? So he said, yeah. So my brother told me, then I came down to see then straight away, okay, on, I'll take this bike. So it was just like this condition, but better, I would say. Oh, mm, is it? Yeah. Then that time, how much you bought it for? I want to say the value also is uh, a bit a bit hard ah. Is it because okay? you see, uh, collectors out there, uh, they were asking. Uh, 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 it's hard uh, to uh, reveal. Uh. But how many but years already? Have you already? Uh, I've rode this for three years already. Mm. Wow, not bad. Yeah, not three bad. years already. Mm. So you are owner number? Uh, I don't honestly, know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at your number plate, bro. Uh, FA, FA, no, FA. <laughs> FA <laughs> Uh, moto is like 1990s no, really? 1982 1982 1982 Oh, registration is Yeah, 1982 Wow So this one came with the, the plate number is memang with this bike lah With this bike it is attached already. Oh. Yeah It's 1982 eh yeah. Almost Bener-bener nala Almost 30 years eh <laughs> 30 uh, 30 yeah, Next year 39 okay. years uh. I'm very speechless And look at the condition of this bike mm. Oh my god, this is like just like how to say, eh, you just go to any dealership, I think eh, they say new also, eh, you also believe. Bedek ah. Bedek ah. You look nice what? I mean, yeah lah. I mean. Uh, you look nice what? It looks nice like, because of the, some of the parts are chrome right? That's mm. why it, it's yeah, like, like bling bling. Like if you look at it twice and uh, look at it carefully, uh, it's really worn down lah. Mm -mm. Uh, I think that comes with the age of the bike, me, it's 30 years old. I think in terms of taking care of it, you need effort lah, uh, you know, to chrome mm. yeah, here, chrome there. Yeah. 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 You need, I mean, if you are going to chrome, then you have to put extra effort in 
keeping the chrome Correct. nice, you know. Want to buy polish there, one? Ah, yeah. It's like almost every week will be a hobby. What was the frequency? Are you washing it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I can say I do it regularly, but uh, I try to make it once a month. <laughs> once a month. Yeah. Like yeah, like. so it's like a one time all well, one time all out kind of you know wash you know. I'll take about like two two hours uh, to do. <laughs> Bye. And then what kind no. of reaction you get on the road? Like for oh, yeah. yourself uh, as a young guy with an old school bike uh. So you should be the gentleman, distinguished uh, <laughs> gentleman, right? Uh. So usually when at the traffic light, right, uh. there will be uncles like. Eh, hey, your bike ah, last time I ride no, very good, very good. No. <laughs> last time I had this thing come and say, very good, you know. Then there was even like a taxi uncle asking me, how much you selling? I buy now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, seriously, I don't people want to deal with you. Go right, even ask for contact number and so. And hey, so you got, can make money, sell like this. <laughs> you should start your own Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, this is almost like a collector's item, you know. Hmm. Because it's an old bike and then it's reliable, you know. This, this engine is reliable. For a two-stroke bike, this hmm. one has been, I mean, for 39 years. Hmm. This 39 bike has been years, around 39 years. years. So, I mean, of course, there will be wear and tear. Once in a while, engine uh, breakdown, but Overall, if people actually come up to you and say, "Eh, hey, I want to buy your bike," ah, meaning this bike has a price to it. But this one is it affected by the NEA uh, regulation? Yeah. So next year is my last year for this bike. Oh so God. if let's say I want to scrap, I get the 3.5 lah. Mm. Yeah, but I still oh. can choose to continue oh, another five years. Can choose. Yeah, still, yeah, still the last one. That's the last one. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Set lah. Set lah, really set lah. That's why. <laughs> set yeah. Really set. Come on, your first bike to work. Yeah, so like, It's very hard to let go. By next year, you won't see that much of RSK ID on the road or even like any 2T bike and so. Oh, I yeah. think you see also inside the workshop. You know, even I saw a workshop. Uh, there's an RD 350 sitting there. For some reason. <laughs> uh, I take picture. Uh, I forget, I forget where lah. But I thought I ever saw. Even if there is, will be on the road. Mm. I think. Some people convert it to as a, the classic, classic, scheme, classic, scheme, classic scheme, yeah. scheme. Yeah. By the way, there's not much information uh, on the internet on on this bike. You know, <laughs> I tried yeah, to we Google tried, it. We tried I, to do research. It. Also. I tried to do some research, <laughs> some reading. You know, Wikipedia page also very vague. Vague. You know, and then. Most of the pages comes out is selling the bike, you know, selling bike, selling bike, <laughs> yeah. selling this bike. The parts, you know. the parts. So uh. I just want to know which generation is this bike because this bike has been produced for a very long time. I honestly like kind of know what this is from. There's different variety, various of RX scale, but this one comes from Indonesia. So I think this is the norm in Indonesia back in the 1990s uh, to see this bike. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they were kind, kind of roughly know like, oh, this is, uh, you know, used to be here, this is where it comes from. And I won't uh, be surprised if Indonesia you will see this bike still. Uh, because yeah, for sure. they have a very strong bike culture over there. Mm -hmm. You see the bikes, the way they modify. Uh, it's crazy, especially the exhaust, uh, the sound. Yeah. <laughs> Until the police fed up, they get their own exhaust. Sia, Sia, that day I saw this video uh. of this RSK with the bamboo pipes. <laughs> It's like boom 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 boom. Eh, Sia, lah, boom boom. Okay, baru betul. So, dia cakap, apa sahaja nak tukar dengan exhaust bulu? Oh, dia pakai exhaust besi rupanya. Patutlah bunyi pom-pom kuat sangat. Apa tak gantikan dengan exhaust bulu? How would you describe uh, its performance as compared to the maybe the school bike that you have right okay. before? Comparing to the school bike, it's actually quite easy because it's automated. You just press the button and the engine on, right? Mm -hmm. But this one you have to kick start. Okay, kick start. Okay, so this kick start sometimes it plays with your mood, ah, honestly. <laughs> so if let's say during heavy rain, right, forty days you never start, right? Ah, uh, you can just kick start more than twenty times. <laughs> More than 20 <laughs> times, I've tried it, done it before. Oh my god. Yep. I yeah. know the feeling. Mm. I, I think the, the gear also different, lah, like Kapchai like that. Eh? Yeah, uh, the, the gear also a bit different, like Kapchai. Then mm. um, basically, in terms of the performance wise, it's still okay on the road, it's still okay. But then, what if you are at the traffic light, let's say you want to accelerate further, right? you'll be the last bike uh, to actually go off. Uh. All the waves uh, will win you by far. Cruising bike, I would say. Cruising bike? Yeah, cruising bike. Relax. Eh? Relax. Eh? So I'll be on the like, last lane, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Then highway, how far? How fast can you go? Uh, I've tried 140 before, but 140 or so is still slow, lah. Honestly. Oh. Yeah, it's like it's like a cast 80, 90, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean the meter shows 140, but you are riding like 80. Yeah, yeah 80. I can can feel it. <laughs> okay, okay. Actually, quite true, you no. Know, because uh, you know why? Right? Yeah, my Malaysia bike. The SYM E bonus 110, right? Mm. On meter, it shows like 90. 
But when I compare it to the GPS, it actually shows I was riding at 70. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, no wonder I was yeah. slow. No wonder Farhan was like complaining. Hey, why you ride so slow? I ride at 90, you know. 90, you know. <laughs> slow, <was> that? <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was a sign of the times. Yeah. Maybe last time they were more conservative, so they play with the speed speedometer. Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, maintenance wise, how is it? Okay, maintenance wise, definitely yeah. since it's since 1982, confirm that's where and tear. Okay, so um, sometimes the cable clutch gets loose, so sometimes the screws are a bit loose, so you have to fix back. The only thing that I would say is a it's a bit of trouble is the two T oil lah. Sometimes you don't know, you can't gauge like when the two T oil is going to finish, and so you don't have like a because it depends on how fast you ride. Oh. So, so do you okay? Does this have a separate compartment for two T? Yes. Oh, okay, correct. So okay. this is the. What the, tank, the tank, petrol tank. fuel tank and this is the this where the two oh, is open this, uh. Yeah, I have to mm. open this manually. So why don't you premix this right here? Can what? Can what? I, I I don't dare to try ask can if let's say this way where and tear. Uh. Oh. Wow. Because <laughs> this bike uh, sometimes it follows smooth uh, like mention uh. uh so, yeah, so so I after at the end of the video I will share with you. Okay. The, the, <laughs> this one. So in fact, in fact, I will, in fact, I will share it now. Uh. For two T bikes, when I was riding the Vespa, my Vespa has a separate compartment yes. for two T and petrol. Mm. Usually, last time I will put inside the compartment for the two T, mm. but then my mechanic he explained to me, okay, the best for you is you take full tank. It's about five liters, mm. five liters, two hundred mm. Pour inside the fuel tank, then you are safe. Oh, oh, okay, I see. Ah, so not too much safe. smoke and not too. Of underpowered lah. It won't be underpowered. Does it make uh, the bike underpowered if you never put? No. If you never put 2T, there is a yeah. high chance piston will jam. Oh. Uh, piston jam, engine seize lah. Uh. Then you just have to wait first until the engine cool down, mm. then you can start. But then it right. will be dangerous because there's no 2T. There's no lubricating oil. Okay? Oh, it's not all technical lah. Hey. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to ride. <laughs> the chain is standard. I think you never opened the engine before in your ownership. Uh, I did open the engine once because the clutch cable was a bit loose so I have to readjust here and there. So mm. at that point of time I was like, I'm, I'm not too sure where's the engine and so compartment because it's, you know, it's different from other bikes so mm. I have to no, try to find ways to do and so so I kind of like study a bit also lah. Everything is all working lah. Even your speedometer also working. Speedometer, all fuel gauge, all, all, all working. Yeah. <laughs> One thing good about this two stroke bike, yeah. old bike ah, if I were to go touring on this bike, mm. I will, I still have a peace of mind because even the mechanic at the kampung kampung ah still can repair mm. this bike you know. Because my father ever actually share his experience ah, he was riding with his friends uh. Uh, in Malaysia, then one of the bike broke down. Mm. On that spot, they down engine, they change the engine, then put back again, can off, they go. Nowadays, I think bikes are too heavy on electronics that mm. you touch, everything goes yeah, wrong. Too. Yeah, too. All the black magic, <laughs> all the black magic EFI and ECU. <laughs> Purely mechanical. No Purely mechanical. Also. Purely ABS, mechanical. Nothing. No fuel injection. No mm. at all. Yep. This oh is gosh. purely mechanical. If this engine makes any noise, you know what would be the trouble is. So then this one is the choke, is it? Yeah. Or the choke oh. is over here inside. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes when I try to like you know you can't kick start, right? I have to like ah. just pull out the choke so that it can start. Okay. If not, it won't start at all. You so. know what it's choke for? I don't ah, okay, good. Hidayah had the choke. Okay, okay. The choke is actually to allow more air to be mixed inside the carburetor with the fuel, then it goes into the. I think we need to do a separate video of Zah sticking about step. No. <laughs> it would be nice. Right? <laughs> so far, has this bike given you any problems or, not? or any issues? Oh. Besides from the cold start, another issue I would say is the battery because this is water-based battery. Can we Liquid. use other air battery? Uh, can you can use? So if you if you want to use, yes, but you have to like kind of like revamp everything again. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. So I see, I see. with water battery, right? Meaning to say, it will supplement to supply to every part of the bike. So sometimes you know my Ayu can't work because it's low water. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when I some. Till now, when I'm riding, I have to, you know, accelerate and I can horn. If it's just stationary, mm. your horn doesn't work. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, so it can be quite dangerous at times because the horn doesn't work. So other than that, it's just the battery itself or the low battery itself. I noticed your IU unit. How come is the new one? Eh? <laughs> there's, there's a story uh, to it. Uh. Oh, please share. Three years of riding, this is my fourth time changing IU. Huh? Why? Like I mentioned, uh, it's because of the once your battery is like 
there, there's no water at all, right? Uh. Okay, so it will kind of prevent that you have to do everything again. Okay, you have to refuel the water and so then sometimes the water gets gets stuck inside. So sometimes, honestly, I'm not too sure like whether it because of the battery or because of the IU. Yeah, I just go back to Vicom and like, you know what, my IU not working, so they check, okay. Free, you, you, yeah. yeah, free. Yeah. Oh, because uh, underwater. Yeah, underwater. Yeah, underwater. underwater. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they also don't know about this mechan their mechanism. Uh, about this bike uh, mechanism. They, were like, they will be scratching here. I saw one of like scratching here, like, eh, hey, how? Uh? Like, okay, <laughs> just change <laughs> the IU. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, that is okay, also okay. one of the main issues, like, IU. Uh. Uh, yeah. But last time you got the old IU unit, the big one. Yeah, last time you got the old IU unit. Oh, but that one also rosak already lah. Rosak already lah. <laughs> How about accessories for the RXK? Is that a lot? Accessories wise, if let's say you go to workshops and so right, uh, they, it's limited, it's very limited. And uh, when it's limited, right, they sell parts at a very, very pricey high price. price. <laughs> yeah, high price. So they, their excuse will be like, I only got this left, one, one more stock left, you know. No, this is why I have to you know, let it go at this price. Oh, like, uh, <laughs> it's always the case. Even you go Shopee, you also cannot find. Shopee. Oh, the, the thing is the what? yeah. The thing is the review also they never mention whether it's original or not. They just put original, but you don't know it's original. Because mm. oh. uh, this bike is I would say like close to ninety percent original. The only thing that I, I changed was the 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 seat cover lah. Yeah. I recently oh, just seen. Nice. 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 Does it, I mean, when you break, does it like slide forward? I just changed this about like two, three days ago. Ah, okay. Wow. Yeah, before it was the leather cover, the original yeah, leather cover. Very nice. And then the box also wow, really matches the old school look of this. Right? <laughs> so at that time, it didn't came with the box. So I asked the uncle, hey, you got any like second hand box and so on, to make it like look as vintage as possible. Then I saw this box, okay, why not? I just take this. <laughs> well, I'm glad we have a rider like you who really cares about the vintageness mm, yeah. of the RXK. I mean, you, even to the box also, you really make it vintage. You know? <laughs> even the license plate also, old school. Nowadays, people lazy, they just put on the windshield, but you put it on the mud card. Mm. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, it's cool, like, it eh? matches the old school look. La. Trying to bring back the old times, ah, no. <laughs> all, all you need now is to wear a, a nice suit, right, coat, and then be uh, join the distinguished, distinguished gentleman, right? Gentleman, gentleman right. right. Yes, even uh, the helmet, Elfie's helmet also old school, guys. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes my work told me to wear those formal shirts, so sometimes I do feel like I'm like my own group, you know, <laughs> own distinguished gentleman. Right? Yeah. But do you are you in any any group uh, relating to the RXK? Um, no, unfortunately, no. I've been trying to find, but. I, but I I check on Facebook, they actually kind of like disperse ah. Mm, There's disbanded, no more, yeah, disbanded. More yeah. like disbanded ah. Oh, yeah lah, because maybe they are already reached the veteran age. Speaking of veteran <laughs> age, like, are there any, do you think there are any other riders like your, like yourself, your age ah. who ride the RSK? Definitely. So, I, I've seen quite a number who mm. does, who has RSK but they mod to their own style. Mm. They don't like to keep it to stock. Mm. Uh, for me, I like it to keep it as, as stock as possible But for them, they will just change different cover sets, different seats, different mm. box and so Just to oh, make it look wow. very very nice The rim is like the colored color. ah. the ca it's, yeah. bronze. it's bronze So how is the fuel consumption like and what is the capacity of the tank? Okay, So the fuel consumption is, okay, from what I know, is, is 7 litres mm -hmm. okay, And every litre is about 25 km Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, it, for your consumption wise, it depends on how, like I mentioned, it depends on how fast you ride. So, so it, it's really very volatile. Full tank can bring you how how far? So, so full tank, I would say, will give me about close to two hundred. Mm, close okay. to two hundred. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough, close to hundred. Yeah, it's a fuel gauge, uh, Surprisingly. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, I, I, but I can't really like you know uh, rely, on rely on it because sometimes it. It's very high wire, it's like on, on and because, off and on and off. Because this one uses a ball, you know, floating yeah, ball. A floating ball. Oh, ah. Interesting, yeah? Toilet, Toilet ball, yeah. Yes. Right, uh, you have a floating ball. Uh. This uses a floating ball uh, instead of the electrical oh, so electronic. I think uh. If you want to shake, uh, you will move. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Usually, if you go down, right, the mod, it will go towards the full side. See, then how you usually gauge when you need to top up? When I start off with the bike, that's where I know, okay, this is roughly how much refuel is inside the mm. petrol. When you do your servicing or repairs, uh, what kind of workshop do you go to? Do you have a, a permanent one workshop that you go to, trusted workshop or you try out? Okay, I go to this one permanent workshop. I think the east sider should know. Lah. The person who the mechanic who does it, mm. he's been doing this for from this bike from the start till now. So he kind of know inside out about this bike. Ah. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah, so even if I go to other workshops, right, to try it out, right, they'll be like, you know, even if I step in the shop, they'll be like, no, 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 I don't want. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? 
because in terms of assembling disassembling it right to them is very complicated because there's a lot of screws oh i see yeah that's one thing what i would say what a con ah to this bike not much uh workshops will want to take it it's surprising eh? because i thought like all the api api will be wow wow rsk so easy <laughs> they, they will be like wow nice but then you ask it to do wow no <laughs> uh, no 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 i understand i think i understand their feelings uh. so elfi your three years of ownership of the rsk eh? Uh, what's your best memories so far? I was waiting for this to come. Oh, <laughs> the, the, there's a lot of memories to the bike, but the, the only the, the best one. The, I think the recent, I would say, a few months back, that happened was okay. So, okay, so there was one point of time I think I was riding there in the clutch but went auto loose to a point where there's no tension on the clutch. Mm -hmm. You can't have your gears locked in and so, right? Yeah. So the 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 bike went, went to a stop, to a halt. So it was that Defu, so I had to like push my bike one km to Defu. It was under the hot sun and then the workshop, most of the workshop didn't want to do anything. Really Bitter sweet memory. Really <laughs> the best memory lah, that's the worst memory. Lah. I think I can have before if he die lah. So. Is, it, is it because uh, the clutch cable... Uh, loose. It's loose. Is, is, it, is it the clutch cable lah? Yeah, it's the clutch cable. The clutch cable should not be should a not problem be lah. Easy but then the workshop also don't want to fix. Lah. Surprising. Uh, maybe yeah, I did. Be because I for them, uh, they have to open the gearbox, they unscrew the gearbox. So if you look, uh, there's like six screws oh yeah, 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 to true, it. True, yeah. right, so they're not willing to do it. And they have a <laughs> price for it. Actually, the price is actually quite cheap. Lah, but I don't know why so they, they don't want to charge higher. I'm okay to pay actually. Mm. That to them, it's a very complicated thing to do. Like not worth for them. These are the experience that actually yeah. make uh, the, uh, what related to, to the bike uh, more memorable. Mm, memorable. Most, like, most not only that, I think the rider... Yeah. Such as yourself, be well versed uh, because the bike is mechanically spartan in nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you will definitely be more versed with your own motorcycle as opposed to somebody who gets a, you know, their first bike when they stack with electronics uh, and yeah. it's new. Yeah, then suddenly, eh, <laughs> hey, why? Uh, what's wrong with my bike? Uh? Why, uh, uh, no, I think everything I had told to workshop me, lah, don't do so much. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> so have you brought this bike to Malaysia so far? Yeah, I brought I I brought this bike to Malaysia just to pump petrol and sometimes you know just have a river. So I tried my best to you know clear carbon, play, yeah. clear carbon. <laughs> so that's where you know hang a bit ah uh, over there. Just hang a bit over there. Oh, so that's the 140 that you yeah. uh, tried out lah. Try <laughs> not bad, not bad. Would you recommend the RSK 135? I don't know if they're still around on the road, not. Yeah. I think on Carousel there still is lah. There still is There is there still lah. So, so what kind of riders would you recommend the RSK for? Who I would recommend is for those who really, really like classics and vintage bikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the same time, if let's say they have uh, so much time to spend on the bike just to chrome and everything, right? Uh, if you have your time management as well, this is something you might want to look at. Uh. Because, <laughs> yeah, so, because the thing is, when it comes to cleaning the chrome and so, it will really take like hours. Uh. Yeah, and you really have to like babysit, you know? it's like your, your wife. Uh. <laughs> sayang, 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 Hmm. You can first also ah? Uh? Uh, initially only lah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> initially not <nah, really. laughs> So with the resurgence of all these retro inspired bikes uh, mm -hmm. with the modern features, this is really the OG lah. Mm -hmm. I would say lah, the original classic <laughs> as opposed to all those modern inspired classics yes. that we have right now. Uh. Yes, true. Yeah, and it's very nice lah uh, to still see the RSK still around. Yep. Uh, even though there's a few of it left on the roads. Yeah, I do see the RSK occasionally. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's usually those veteran <laughs> riders <laughs> who are riding and it's usually in very bad condition. Riders out there, if you are riding any classic bike, vintage bike or bikes that is already not in production and you want to preserve a piece of memory of that bike, right, do contact us. We would really love to interview you in our vlogs. No? And only that, any riders want to review their bike with us, you can touch us on our social media pages below. If you like this video, like and share with your riding khakis and don't forget to subscribe. And Elfie, thank you so much once again. Thank you for having me, guys. For coming thank out, you. you know, and willing to review your RXK 125. I, weirdly, uh, I've always wanted to review this. <laughs> uh, like, same, uh, same. Uh, very weird. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but this one is very unique, very vintage. <laughs> and it would be nice uh, if you can capture it on video. And thankful that Elfie approached us to do this video. Uh. Yeah, and yeah, that's it for the vlog. And we will see you in the next one.